Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to find the roots of a quadratic equation whose sum is negative 118 and the product is 2856. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. We know the sum is negative 118. I'm going to call sum as a S. S stands for sum is negative 118. And I'm going to put down P as a product equals to 2856. And now next, let's look at this sum, which is negative 118. And I am going to divide this one by 2. Just take the half of this sum that is going to turns out to be a negative 59. So therefore I am going to put down H. H stands for half equals to negative 59. Just keep in your mind. And now we are going to perform a couple of steps. In the very first step we are going to use this easy formula which is k squared equal to h squared minus p. So we are going to solve for k squared equal to in our case h is negative 59. I am going to replace h by negative 59 square minus p in our case is 2856. Let's simplify furthermore. Negative 59 square is 3481 minus 2856. Let's subtract this one that is going to give us 625. So k square turns out to be 625. And we want to solve for k. So let's undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So as you can see that this square and square root they undo each other. So we ended up with k equal to positive or negative 25. And that is our k value. And in our final step, our roots are h plus or minus k. We know h is negative 59, all right, plus or minus k is 25, and that is our answer. And now this really means we are going to split these numbers along these positive and negative signs. So this is going to become negative 59 plus 25 and the other one is going to be a negative 59 minus 25. So if we simplify this thing that is going to give us negative 34 as one of the solutions and the other one is going to be a negative 84 and another one. So thus our roots turn out to be a negative 34 and negative 84. And if we multiply these two roots, we are going to get 28, 56. And if we add them, we are going to get negative 118. And for your information, these are the steps that we perform in our calculation. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.